So what can I do for you? Show me your list of services. Hold on. Wow, doing that voice did just tickle the hell out of my throat. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I need a Royale with cheese bedroom, please. I'm gonna rest it this time. What? Why? Man. Oh, hey. So everyone, everyone's heard everyone's a rubbernecker then, is that it? Old Girk and had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a batch of poultry tazloy. Yeah, yeah, it's old news, and if you make one crack about the cloak wood being an appropriate place to lose it, at least, I'll put your liver on, a men on the menu. Now move on and let the next people in line have their laugh. What? I need a sling or some strong dwarf. Oh. It's a side quest. Girk, a crusty old dwarf in Berergost, has had his supposedly famous cloak stolen from him by a batch of Tazloy in the cloakwood. After a brief encounter, I have come to the conclusion that I'd do almost anything to rid him of that sour mood. <laughs> okay. Officer Justified the Flame Fist has murdered a bear goose with her contingent in her desperation to return to Baldur's Gate. She's offered me 50 gold pieces for every bandit skull I can bring her. She'll be waiting for me at the Jovial Juggler Inn. A waste of my talents. Maybe I can't do anything until I actually go and uh, talk to Tanzig. Mm, you smell. Which is over here. Minsk is fatigued, but we're not doing any adventuring at the moment. We just need to go talk to Tanzig and then. Supposedly, after I do that, I'll have the ability to go ahead and rest. Because I'll probably have to adventure afterwards. So I should be able to rest. Then we'll be okay. Of course. Okay, who is Tanzig? Where do I find him? Yes? Of course. Ephes. Cook. That's <laughs> commoner. A waste of my talents. There he is. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. Why do you I'll bother me? Trouble. Can't you see that I'm in a hurry to get out of this damn town? Perhaps you could tell us why you are in such a hurry. I want to tell you guys something. Get out of my face. Oh snap, I should probably... Uh-oh. I came... Uh-oh. When I read the quest and it said, Transig will have some information for me, I, I read that as, let's go talk to a friend and have him give us some information. <laughs> Not realizing that this is, the, this is a, a goddamn enemy. <laughs> God damn it. You won't rid of us that easily. We know you're up to no good. Now tell us everything you know. You know what I'm up to? Eh? Well, maybe something you you don't know about is my magic skills. 
You might not believe me, but if you ain't out of my face in the next five seconds, I'll blast you to kingdom come. You? Wielding magic? We can't suspend our disbelief that much. Come along now and surrender or we'll have to hurt you. I warned ya, now pay the price! Uh... Yes, or oh, oh, what do you want? Oh, 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 Squeaky oh, wheel gets the kick! What? There we go, I'm like, where are they? <laughs> I need them now. <laughs> um... Transig and I had it out at Feldepus Inn in Baragos. Looking through Mulahay's letters, I see he was in cahoots with the bandits. He probably knows where they're making their camp. You've attacked? Make it quick. Okay. Yes. Nature servant awaits. Uh, let's see. Do they wish my ear? Yep. No, we won't charm person. Acid didn't work. Okay. What? Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. You've attacked? Yeah, I don't want you to die. I don't want him to die, so we're gonna go ahead. Two backpack. Give that to Jug. Did he just lose health? Transig's not afraid of rubble such as you. I give up. Please let me live. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Spill your guts then. If what you say satisfies us, then we'll, then we'll let you live. Okay, okay, I'll talk. I'm a messenger for a man named Tezok. I just ferry messages between him and a fat priest named Mula Mulahe. I meet with Tezok at either Peldvale or Larswood. East of the Friendly Arm Inn. Tazak pays me good, so I keep my yap shut. Can I go now? Where can we find this Tazak? Tazak? Bandits, nice. Tazak, you can find him in the wood of sharp in the wood of sharp teeth. He's the captain of two groups of bandits. Their camp's always moving. So I don't know how much luck you'll have in finding them. Can I get out of here now? Uh, we have to kill you, otherwise, no. This is a hard choice, cause like I'm thinking about like a TV show or a movie, and all I'm thinking about is like, ah, oh, if I do this though, it's that's this is like a, if I kill him, I'm doing it for good reasons, but like it's an evil choice. It's like lawful evil is what I'm doing. Uh, 
we're gonna go. We're gonna. Uh, I want to be a good guy, but I don't know. We have to kill you, otherwise you might warn this Tezok. Am I gonna go down without a fight? Litter dust, I wonder what that is. Ooh, we got a wand, another ring, letter, and gold. I should travel to Lars Wood or Peldvale next. It appears that the bandit attacks come from there and are related to the iron shortage. There should be a base hidden away somewhere in the forests. Lars Wood or Peldvale next. Okay. I think it updated, right? Is that what it said? World map has been updated. The bandits. Okay. Make it quick. A waste of my talents. Uh, who looted exactly? What? Whoops. Oh, I could pr probably. Yeah. Give him a bastard sword. Who looted? Was it her? It totally was. Uh, glitter dust. This spell creates a cloud of glittering golden particles within the area of effect. All enemies in that area must roll a successive saving throw versus spell or be blinded. Negative four penalties to attack rolls and armor class. Ooh. Four rounds in addition, all within the area are covered by the dust, which cannot be removed. It continues to sparkle until it fades. Note that this reveals invisible creatures. Oh, so it, it also reveals... Oh, man. Dust fades in four rounds. Oh. That's pretty wild. Three and two. Yeah, let's give it to her because she's the actual mage. Let's make her, um, make her learn it. She's the actual mage. Nice. Next up, we have a ring. Have her identify it. Ring of protection plus one, ring of the princes. This ring and several of its type were originally crafted to protect the sons of King Castor de Wes, though who uttered the enchantment is unknown. History records that the rings remained within the, that family for at least 13 generations, though they were all apparently lost within the space of one. Enmity between the king and the family of the creator may be to blame. Armor class plus one, saving throws plus one. So assuming that, well, assuming that none of my ranged characters are going to get attacked by anything melee, I could give these to some of my, like this guy here, I think. Yeah, 
because he has lower health, which means having this will help him not get hit as, as much, which means he'll stay alive longer, which is good. Um, what we're going to do quick, of course. is we're actually going to go identify this other thing. This wand. No sooner said than done. Actually, we're gonna sleep first. You want some whiskey? You were startled out of sleep with a chill, though the night is warm and calm. It is though someone has walked across your grave, and for a moment you wonder if it was you. With this thought, the ground beneath you opens, and you are swept into the dark. When light returns. You do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper, until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope. You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Malahe hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you, a dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air, your heart its target. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. Oh, damn. That shit cray. They're beautiful. We had a nice rest. The protector plus one. The protector, the royal guard of King Pyronin, ruler of Impiltor. We're given the protector as an honorary show of status. Unfortunately, members of the guard had trouble coming to a con consensus amongst themselves as to whom the amulet should go. After years of internal hostility, the item was lost and the guards replaced by less greedy individuals. Oh, I'm so tempted to buy that. 45, huh? Oh. This guy has a bunch of extra stuff. Well, I have the large shield plus one already. Two D four plus one slashing. Speed factor seven. Echo plus one. Armor class eight. Oh we um
Kinda want this bastard sword plus one, to be honest. I think I'm gonna buy it. Transig, I am perplexed as to why Mulahe has not communed with us in some while. You are to go to the mines and find out the condition of his operation. You are also to collect any iron that may have been stolen by the kobolds. The next raid will most likely take place at Peldvale or Larswood, so visit either of those areas and track us back to our camp. A waste of my talents. Um. Oh, it's nighttime. I should just sleep until it's daytime, actually. A waste of my talents. You want some whiskey? Beautiful. No sooner said than done. You point, I bunch. Ooh, he's really close to leveling up. Nature yes. I I Let's wait, talk more yeah. fight. Jug, Jug, someone in the Jovial Jungle gave me a gold piece to come find you. Take a moment, child. I think I know who you're talking about. Do you mean Officer Vi? We have already spoken with her. Yeah, she is really nice, isn't she? Well, I better go before Mama starts to worry. Timora will be with you, okay? I mean. Oh, that one. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster. Well now, our paths cross once more. I suppose proper introductions are in order, as we will no doubt meet again. My name is Elminster. I've heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time we've been apart. It would seem that thou art destined to have quite the impact on the Sword Coast. Quite the burden for one so young. Just doing what had to be done. Thou hast certainly taken upon thyself to straddle the mor mor morality fence, but I cannot truly fault the results. I shall leave the future of thy discretion, and we shall see what happens. I do have one piece of information for thee before I go, though. Tis hardly a surprise, I am sure. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit of traveling in the nearest or er, northeast with this. I shall take my leave. A waste of my talents. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Okay, for some reason he can't oh, identify you're a queer that. Fellow. Wand of Magic Missiles. When activated, the wand will eject a missile of magical energy that darts forth and unerringly strikes its target. This includes enemy creatures in a melee. This includes enemy creatures in a melee. But that, that seems like an incomplete sentence. <laughs> the target creature must be seen or otherwise detected to be hit, however, so near total concealment, such as that offered by arrow slits, can render the spell ineffective. The missile will inflict 1d4 plus 1 points of damage. One magic missile will strike the target. Damage is 1d4 plus 1 magic. 100 feet. Area of effect, one creature. 
Requires nine intelligence. It's got 31 uses. What I just realized though, I should probably get bullets and arrows. Actually, no, I have arrows here for her. Yeah, bullets. I need bullets. Um, let's go ahead and I'll stick it on her quick item bar. What? I, I didn't waste of my talents for a wee little bit more than me competition. Me competition. I have arrows, I need bullets. Oh. 20, 40, 60, 80. And then we need one, two, three, four, and then another one, two, three, four, and then another one, two, three, four. I think, right? Beautiful. Perfect. Make it quick. A waste of my talents. Of course. We're going to save. Destination unreachable. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, is this Baldur's Gate up here? I bet you any money that is. Bandit camp. Blue Golf's beard. Don't know what that is. That's a friendly arm in. Right, I have to go... What did it say? Lars Wood or Peld Vale next. <clears throat> To the Mass Seek, I have been traveling to the Northeast again. I must wonder why my concerns are worth his attention. I am perplexed as to why Mahalo is not coming here in a while. You're in a good man's.
I kind of forget where... It said something about north, I think, of 